So you guys probably don't know this, but last time I had this space was probably about two months ago. So I'm super, super excited to be back here, to be able to train. And in the previous episode, I did this first sequence, for my first sequence, the rebuilding process of it. Today we're going for the sequence number two. The only reason uh, for this sequence was to have a transado somehow and then I added some movements which at this current moment I don't really like anymore and so I want to change it. I'm gonna start the version number two of this sequence with different entrants that I recently came up with and I really love it. Let's practice the entrance first, then our transado and then we'll see what's gonna happen next because the second part of the sequence is a still a mystery. I have a few ideas what I want to put there but I haven't practiced that yet. So, anyway, let's go. So, how do you like the entrance? It's pretty cool. It is cool. When I add out transado to that, let's put everything together. I know it doesn't look great and the reason is because this is not easy. I didn't say this is gonna be easy. I said this looks cool and I know it looks cool, right? The reason why I do this break at the end is that I am already thinking about the movement ahead. What's gonna happen? How I'm la landing? So I always land, it seems, in this position and this is the moment when I don't have a plan. I have few movements that I want to try to do from that position or maybe entrances to the movements but I don't have anything fixed. So give me a moment, I have to think about it. Of course, Macaquinho is always an option. I love Macaquinho so much that I just want to place it everywhere. But there is not going to be Macaquinho. So two things, I don't really want to complain but the floor is really slippery, I'm really struggling, I cannot even do a few things. I blame the floor, not the skill. The second thing is that, which option do you prefer? Uh, I personally like the esdobrado, going straight for esdobrado, or the second one, which is going, kind of going to, uh, onto the head, uh, on the cabeza and then going to Alka French which is something that I've seen Mest Papalegos doing in the game with uh, Contra Mest Corisco.
Which option? What do you think? I like this option too, with Fuga and then going to uh, Chapão de Couro and then Macaco. But I don't particularly like this Chapão de Couro Macaco, this bit. So I think it's gonna stay going to Alna Cabeça and then Alpra French. Let's try to put everything together and I will see what's gonna happen. So the truth is that uh, I'm not able to do this sequence well and especially because of the last movement, the Alma Cabeza that goes to Opera French because I actually have never practiced this movement, this was my very first, my, well, second attempt uh, to try this movement which is really cool but kind of, I don't know, technically difficult I think. So guys, please let me know, let's compare two sequences now. Which one you prefer better? Uh, I think the second one is pretty, pretty cool. Would be great if I could squeeze in Kuhu Peep somewhere. Because I often use this moon, it would, would be really nice to use it somewhere. Anyway, apart from that, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching, guys, for sticking in. Uh, We're 2000 subscribers. Not that the uh, numbers matter, but I like even numbers. I actually recently also achieved uh, 100,000 uh, miles in the car. Right, anyway guys, thanks very much again for watching for your time and yeah, I'll see you in the next one where we're gonna explore and reshape uh, sequence number three.